Hello, hello, everybody, and this is the start of a little, it'll probably be five-part video series, depending on whether I want to do the Outer Scouts or not, it'll be a little longer. Now, originally, I was going to start off with Sailor Moon, and as you can see here, she was drawn and colored, but then I decided I really hated how she turned out, so I started her. So I started her over, and she's actually going to be the last in the series. But we're starting out in the order that they were introduced for the most part, so we were going to start out with Sailor Moon, and then Mercury, and then Mars, and so on and so forth. But yeah, starting out with Mercury, who was always one of my favorites because she was smart. She had that book smarts, which was also why I really loved Hermione from Harry Potter, but you know. Um, I did that thing I've been kind of doing recently, where I color block before I ink, and it just kind of helps me figure some stuff out. Luckily for all y'all, I actually do have the other... I don't have all five of them finished, but I've got the videos for the next three finished, and I just have to do voiceovers for them, so yay. But these should all hopefully end up being either stickers or charms. I'm at the moment leaning more towards stickers, but we'll see. I just really love how they all turned out. As you'll, as I keep saying, you'll see, but you'll see in the future. I was for some reason, I've got sketched out um, one of her later costume designs where she's got the heart brooch instead of the brooch that she ends up actually having in the very first season. But I change that when I realize what's going on. I really love Sailor Moon. And I haven't actually seen any of Crystal. I keep meaning to, but it's just not been something I really, like, felt the need to watch. I've... I don't know. <laughs> I've just got such a big place for the original anime in my heart that I just haven't had it in me to watch the reboot. But it is what it is. You can see me just playing around with the face. I really just could not figure out how I wanted it all set up. And I just keep playing around with it, playing around with it, trying to find the best setup. And it just, it just does not work out for me for a while here. It is what it is, though. But yeah, I erased the color blocking, or well, I didn't erase it, but I clicked off the visibility. And then, just so I could see what I was drawing everywhere else and try and figure stuff out best. And now this is me playing around, uh, figuring out the sizes of the necklace, because I tried to make sure that they all matched up as much as they could size-wise. And yeah, this is when I'm about to realize that, like, I'm using the wrong costume design, because she doesn't have the star on her choker in the first season. My brain was just like, I know the costume, but I did not know the costume. Oh, and we've got her earrings. I tried to go as close to all the details as I could. I don't know that I was fully accurate on everything, but I certainly tried. And I also do a lot of work where I pull up the ones that I've drawn first and compare sizes of, like, eyes and heads to make sure that they're all pretty uniform throughout the series of works. As you'll see as I pull up the Sailor Moon that did not end up being at all what I wanted. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> now, it's this will be going up on April 24th. So we're getting close to the end of the month. Just one more week, pretty much. I've got too many birthdays coming up, like, my dad, oh, my dad and my siblings, sibling, both have birthdays at the end of the month, they're like literally two days in a row, and then like at the very beginning of May, I've got my uncles and my moms, and there's just too many birthdays for me to deal with and presents for everybody, I've got my dad, and my siblings covered, thankfully. Just gotta 
and figure out what I'm getting for my mom. So that'll be fun. I'll probably draw her a card of some sort. So depending on whether it's done digitally or traditionally and whether I have the time to film it, I'll probably film my process on that so you guys can see that. And we're going to come back to talking about the art now because I'm going in on coloring line art and figuring stuff out. I wasn't sure at first whether I wanted them all to have colored line art, but then I ended up really liking how it looked, so it happened, which was fun. I think it looked really pretty, and when I do the colored line art, I kind of like, I don't just leave it the flat color, I try to like shade it so it looks, what's the word I'm looking for? Dynamic, three-dimensional, that type of stuff. <laughs> Oop. I meant to edit that out in the editing process, but I guess I didn't. What else? Hmm. I keep all of my line art stuff kind of separated via um, layers because it lets me figure stuff out a little bit better. And I think I actually end up having like three or four layers here, weirdly enough. It looks a little off. Or no, it's just the darkness of the layer. That's what it is, cool. Yeah, so I actually ended up doing the hair and like eyebrows in the kind of gradiated, not, that's not the word, um, gradient, there we go, gradient style line art, and then everything else ends up being a darker blue-green. And I think that's how I do it on all the pieces where the hair's the gradient style shaded line art and everything else is like a base color. Which ends up turning out very pretty, in my opinion at least. But, yeah. I tried not to give them all, like, the same skin tone. So for Sailor Mercury, I kind of go with, like, a slightly peachier Asian-esque. Well, I don't know. Man, I wouldn't say Asian because I don't. Just went, like, a peachier skin tone. I just didn't want them all to look, like, the exact same and have the same exact skin tone. So, like, Mercury's got a slightly peachier tone, and then Jupiter's got a more tan and stuff like that. Because I didn't want them to look all, like, same face syndrome and stuff. Now, my favorite tool, as I'm sure you guys are going to see here, is definitely like the Gaussian blur. It just works out. It just makes things look smooth. I'm lazy. It's fun. <laughs> I think at some point here I'm going to realize that I have not done anything about her eyebrow. And it'll need to be done. <laughs> I hope I noticed at least if I didn't. That's like a dying shame. Gosh. I'm really trying to decide how I'm doing these highlights here. I just, at the time, I could not figure out how I wanted to do them. And I think I finally end up, yeah. I think this is what I end up going with, like, full time. And I thought it looked cool. I don't know if it's the same for every piece, but, like... I'm sure you'll see in future videos if it was. And can I just say, it is very late. My sleep schedule's kind of weird right now. So I should be probably sleeping, but I'm not, so it is what it is. My little Pugsy Wugsy's over here snoring, though. So there's that. She's getting a good nappy nap in. Yeah, so I'm going, like, many layers of highlight. Nice to see. Yeah, okay, there's me deciding I need some eyebrow. And then we're moving on to the brooch and the bow. Which I think I went pretty simplistic with. Yeah, from the looks of it, that is indeed. It's, it's just like, it's a round brooch that doesn't have any detailing, so I mean, it just needs to be circular. <laughs> a little bit of highlighting to give off the glossy look, that's, that's really it. <sighs> I keep getting silent on you guys, sorry. I... I think we're about to go on the, yeah, 
I try to make the stripes on them all the same size by using a monoline brush and matching it up to the past ones. And that worked out for me pretty well for Mercury here, as you guys just saw. Going into some shading, I'm pretty sure I used a multiply layer. Yeah, for sure. Multiply layer and then Gaussian blur and then lowering the opacity. More multiply layer layers because I love them. I tried to go with different, like, shades of blue for stuff. And, like, whether I shaded with, like, a darker blue or I shaded with a purple or I shaded with a darker green to give some variation to everything. I think it worked pretty well to look cute. Now we're going on to the golds. All the golds on all the girls, I tried to do the same exact color pattern by color picking and worked out fairly well for me, thankfully. And we're, I think, about to get to part of my favorite stuff, which would be coloring the skin, I think. I have hope. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. I go with the blue multi- actually, I think it's a purple. I think I'm using a purple, yeah. A purple multiply layer, and I'm just doing shadow where I want. It's not really, like, intricate shadow. I think it's just pillow shading, but it is what it is. <laughs> And I do it over the skin and over the gold bits in the eyes. And it really just helps make it look nice. And it gives a kind of cool color to the, to the skin. And now I think we're going cheeky cheeks. And nose, because nose blushies are adorable. And now, whatever shall we... Ooh, eyes. Eyes are always the hardest part, not gonna lie. <laughs> There's me forgetting for a minute that, like, eye whites are a thing and having to go start totally over. Which, you know, sometimes it happens, okay, guys? Sometimes I forget that things are a thing and I gotta <laughs> remind myself. But, you know, it is what it is. I do really like how just this piece in general turned out. I just thought Mercury looked really cute. Really, just, I don't know, cutesy. I liked it. Mm. I don't know what I'm working on here if I'm trying to... Yeah, highlights. Okay, trying to figure out where I'm placing highlights. And I decided to go with just circular shapes for highlights for Mercury. Because... It made it look a little bit more watery. I don't know, guys. I figured circle, water. It it what it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know. And we're about at the end here, so I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Next week's will either be Mars or it'll be a sketchbook tour. So hope you guys enjoy that. And here's the finished piece. Bye-bye, guys. See y'all next week.